All right, guys, got a real good one here for you. We're talking about five sneaky league winners that you need to acquire, trade for, pick up, and start right away. These guys could have a solid finish to the season and have been performing on a relatively high level. So five sneaky league winners here for you that could make or break your season. Guys that I regularly don't talk about. One of them is a little more obvious, but the other four you definitely want to consider getting. I still think they're relatively sneaky and you can get them um, for relatively cheap and get them on your roster and they can help you guys win your league. Because I'm all about winning here with the Fantasy Football Counselor podcast. If you are new, make sure you guys are subscribed. I'm excited to dive in. Before I do, I've got an amazing announcement. You definitely want to want to hear this. Dak Prescott, George Kittle, and Kelsey, you know them as pro athletes. Obviously, we all know who they are, but Real Truck gave me an early viewing opportunity of the Truck It List, and it's amazing. So they've teamed up with George Kittle, the Truck It List, right? Real Truck has teamed up with Dak Prescott, Travis Kelsey, and George Kittle to give three community heroes their dream trucks. The first episode comes out Thursday, which will feature George Kittle. Check it out, guys. Go to Instagram. I'll put a link here below as well. I'm going to show you guys a quick preview. Real Truck's bio at Real Truck. Go to their bio. Watch the episodes. Again, first one comes out Thursday. And I love the fact that they're giving back to the community, giving back to these heroes that have given to the community. Now they're gifted with a truck. It's it's absolutely amazing. you got to watch this, guys. Veterans veterans and, and real heroes getting something in return. It's, it's absolutely amazing. So again, guys, check out the truckitlist.com. I've linked it below and check out this preview. What happens with someone who spent their whole life, their whole life, their whole life, giving to others, finally get something in return? We're handing these keys over to you. Oh my God. Yes. So that we can make sure this, this is the story of unsung heroes, amazing trucks, and dreams that come true. I'm Dak Prescott. I'm George Kittle. I'm Travis Kelsey. And this is The Truck It List. This is The Truck It List. This is The Truck It List. Is that enough about it? Are you trying to take it for a spin? I'm ready. Well, there you guys have it, guys. The truckitlist.com. I'll leave a link here below as well. Go check out the episodes. First one premiering Thursday, November 17th. Go check it out. Amazing. All right. Now let's talk about these league winners here. First one, not so obvious. Wait, Joe, we already know this. He's going to be a potential league winner. I know. But prior to the season, nobody was talking about them. I had him as a sleeper in 16 rounds as a backup with massive upside. The guy I'm talking about is Justin Fields. Two touchdowns, one interception last game. Crushing it as per lately. Now, when you look at a guy like Justin Fields, the guy is getting it done on the ground. 147 rushing yards, two touchdowns on the ground, 38 points last game. 42 the week before, 26 the week before that, and 23 the week before that. So Justin Fields remaining consistent. That's what I like to see out of any player and putting up relatively high, solid numbers consistently. Now, obviously, there is a concern here with Justin Fields, and that is he is putting his body on the line. When you're rushing 147 yards, that is always a concern for me as a fantasy owner. When I have Justin Fields, I'm hoping that he doesn't get hurt. That's obviously a major concern. But if you want a guy that's putting up points and in what I never thought I'd say this, but in an explosive offense as of late, uh, Justin Field could be an amazing league winner. And again, now he's on people's radar, but sneaky if you include, if you talk about him prior to this season or if you drafted him. All right, guys, sneaky sleeper. Number two here, this is a sneaky guy here who's kind of showed up lately. Years to wow us were not wowed. And I never thought I'd say this, but Jeff Wilson. Could be a league winner. RB2 with massive upside option. Now, here's an interesting stat here. 215 scrimmage yards in the last two games, including two touchdowns. So this is a guy that is on an offense where they are focusing heavily on the pass. The defenses are. So he's got an opportunity to shine. And 17 attempts last game, this is what I like to see. Clearly, the RB1, if you look at between him and Mostert, Jeff Wilson I, again, I never thought I'd say this, but a guy that you could probably acquire, you know, and, and he could be a league winner, could be a solid plug and play. Now, if you guys are 16 round owners, you probably don't need a running back. You guys want robust RB, but a guy that could actually do solid going down the stretch here of the season. So Jeff Wilson, I never, I never thought I'd say this, but Jeff Wilson could be a league winner. I've, opportunity, right? Sometimes it's about the opportunity. Years to us, we're not wowed, but you're in an opportunity. You never know. I'm not fully sold, but he has been looking impressive 
as of late. Okay, there's a sneaky one for you. Number three here, not so sneaky now, but I started him this week, won the week. Christian Watson, I'm wearing the hat here. This is the only reason I got a Packers hat is because of Christian Watson, a guy that I was, it was a stash for me. I was talking about him since April. Three touchdowns, eight targets, four receptions, and got that rapport with Aaron Rodgers. That's the main thing that people have to consider, that Aaron Rodgers has that trust with them in a situation where the Packers need to win, in a situation where they don't have other wide receivers that have stepped up. Lazard, years to while, we're not wowed. And this is why I was telling you guys to stash Watson because I'm not fully sold on Lazard. And Watson's been banged up. Dobbs came in early because if you look at the preseason, Watson was banged up. Dobbs was able to build that rapport with, with Rodgers still early and had a couple of decent games, but it was Watson that was the guy that they believed in prior and drafted him in the second round, not the fourth round or third or fourth round like Dobbs. It was the, the second round with Christian Watson, first wide receiver off the board for them. They believed in him, and he's finally had his breakout game, showing that he can be that deep threat and showing that he can get it done in other routes as well other than just that deep threat and can be a red zone target. 107 yards, three, 107 yards, three touchdowns last game. Everyone's talking about him now. I started him last week, and you definitely want to consider starting him moving forward. I think it's going to be consistent. Obviously, don't expect those three touchdowns games, but he's going to be consistent. Christian Watson. Next guy here, sneaky. Never thought I'd talk about him, but Paris Campbell. Years to hours were not wowed. And if you look at him, man, he finished 11th amongst wide receivers this past week. On par with targets uh, with Pittman. They both had nine apiece. Alec Pierce only had two. Nine targets, seven receptions, 20.6 fantasy points getting the touchdowns, getting the work. And now you've got to revive Matt Ryan, who was benched. New coaching comes in, starts him, and he's out there rushing for 39 yards apiece. Can you believe it? Matt Ryan, 39 yards rushing. He's 37 years old. Amazing. The guy runs like a giraffe. I mean, giraffes are pretty fast, actually. I shouldn't even say that. But either way, Paris Campbell had a good week six, had a good week seven, had a good prior week. And... At the end of the day, man, Paris Campbell could be viable and could be a league winner if he continues to be Matt Ryan's primary target as Pittman is seeing, you know, the top corners. Paris Campbell's open, and when you're open and you're a decent player, you can get stuff done. Paris Campbell, years to were not wowed, couldn't stay healthy, finally staying healthy and producing on the field with the opportunity of Matt Ryan at quarterback. So a revived and rejuvenated Colts offense with Jonathan Taylor coming back, having a big game. You know, is Paris Campbell going to continue? Possible, could be a league winner. If you're desperate for a receiver, could be viable for you, all right? Um, also, let's go through this here again. Uh, a tight end here, number five. Uh, I, I talked about him a little bit on social media, but Cole Komet, my story modes, five touchdowns over the past three games. Targets two, six, and seven over the past three games, respectively. At the end of the day, Cole Komet has been consistent and has been a safety blanket in the red zone for Justin Fields. So Cole Komet, if you're desperate for a tight end, I think he looks good. I think he's a, he's in an opportunity to thrive in what, again, I never thought I'd say is an explosive offense as of late with the Chicago Bears. Cole Komet, I never thought I'd say this, could be a, and again, I'm saying could be, because they've been consistent lately. We're talking week 11 here. Cole Komet, 23.4 points the last week, going into week 11 now, week 10. Again, 23.4 points PPR, two touchdowns, 74 yards receiving, four receptions on seven targets. Cole Komet, beating out Travis Kelsey in fantasy points in week 10, could be a viable league winner moving into the season. All right, guys? Into the rest of the season, into the playoffs, all right? So there you have it, guys. Five potential league winners, sneaky ones. Most of them are Wilson, I think, Campbell, Komet, more sneaky than the other guys. Watson, I've been talking about all offseason, and I had told you to stash him. Fields, again, was a sleeper in 16 rounds as well. Tearing it up. Tearing it up. They're doing well. Hopefully it stays consistent. That's the key here. Fields has proven to be consistent. Komet's been relatively consistent lately. We'll see what the other guys do as well. All right, guys? Again, head over to thetruckitlist.com. Check out those episodes as well right now. Amazing, uh, you know, these players giving back to the community and these community heroes. Pretty remarkable stuff. All right, guys? I appreciate you for being here. Subscribe, thumbs up. We'll talk soon. I am out. Follow on social.